Hey everyone, my name is Zero Beliefs, and welcome to Rise of the Three Kingdoms, the modification for Medieval 2 Total War Kingdoms, and if you would like to download that modification, I do have a link to it down below my video description. By that link, you'll find a playlist where you can watch every episode of my Let's Play via that playlist. Now, if you don't know what this mod is based upon, it's based upon the Three Kingdoms era in China. That would be from 220 AD to 280 AD, but I believe the game will begin a little bit before that in 194 AD. And you have three states who are vying for control. You've got Shu, Han, and Wei. And that is really when the Three Kingdoms era will begin. But as I told you, we'll begin a little bit before that, where there's a lot more lords trying to vie for power after the fall of the Han dynasty. They're basically trying to gain control of the emperor, which would let them establish their own dynasty. Now, we're going to go over here to single player right now. Grand campaign. But yeah, you probably have played the game potentially through... Dynasty Warriors or Romance of the Three Kingdoms, a grand strategy game. Also, the same name of the novel written by a Chinese author that is based upon the Three Kingdoms era. But he adds in a little bit of magic and things like that. Okay, now we could play as any one of the local lords around here, but I feel like for a lot of people it would be better in the very beginning if I played as lords that a lot of you know of. Like over here we have Lu Bu of Yan Jiao. But we're going to play as Cao Cao. Cao Cao, head of the Cao clan, 194 AD. Cao Cao was well known for his gifted talents and ambitious nature. He was rather successful as a cavalry commander in his suppression of the Yellow Turban rebels in Jiangyuan. He is also one of the architects of the anti Dong Zhao alliance and supposedly forging a decree from the emperor in order to rally the regional lords of the lands against Dong Zhao. He first used his immense family wealth to obtain a volunteer army of 5,000 men and then exhibited his great leadership in the battles against Dong Zhao. When the alliance collapsed, Cao Cao led the remnants of his broken army to his holdings in Sen Liu. Okay. Following the advice of his retainers, he joined his friend, I have no clue how to pronounce that, Bao Shen, who was later killed in battle in eradicating the yellow turbans in, uh, let's see, I'm trying to remember how to say a Q, I don't remember how to say a Q, Qing Jiao, maybe. Okay, obtaining the surrender of several hundred thousand individuals. Of these, he reorganized the strongest into the... Let's see... Uh, what is it again? I'm trying to remember. Qing Jiao Troop. I believe it's a ch sound. Anyway, Cao Cao's great family wealth and connections also provided much material assistance, but it also had attracted unwanted attention from bandits. Cao Cao's father, Cao Song, was living in... Let's see... Shu Jiao, under the protection of... Tao Qian's vassal, Zhang Kai. However, Zhang Kai murdered Cao Song and stole his fortune, to which Cao Cao blamed Tao Qian. In an act of vengeance, Cao Cao led his forces into Shu Jiao and massacred thousands of civilians as Cao Cao pushed deeper into Shu province. Lu Bu, along with several of Cao Cao's vassals, such as Chen Gong and Zhang Miao, rebelled in Yan province, seizing many of Cao Cao's territories there. Faced with, his, with chaos at home, Cao Cao agreed to call off the campaign, signing a treaty with Liu Bei, who had arrived to relieve the beleaguered Tao Qian. Okay, Cao Cao now reorganized his armies and rushed back to Yan to force a showdown with Lu Bu to regain his lost territories, and once again became the strongest power in Zhong Yan. Anyway, I'll do my best to try to work on my pronunciation over time. I'm sure a lot of you will help me. I would like to at least somewhat get it near to what it should be, that way people can learn what it actually is. In an earlier Dynasty Warriors game, you had people calling Cao 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 and his son Cao Pi, which is completely ridiculous, but that did happen. Fortunately, in later games, they will try to fix that. All right, now over here, we've got Cao Ran, Shi Aho Yuan, and Shu Chu. Yeah, I think X is like a sh sound. Anyway, let's go and begin right now on a hard, hard difficulty. I'll need to take 100 regions and here we go. All right, here we are now. We could have assassins in the game or not. I don't believe I want them in the game. They can really change up the flow quite a bit. I mean, watching some legendary leader that you might know of die from a blade is really not that fun. Okay, we can only have three spies, three diplomats, five merchants, and five agitators. Okay. Now, let's go over here. You do have supplies in the game, I believe, if you're out on campaign. Those will go down over time. Now, if you have too many supplies, which you can have, your movement points will go down, but your morale will go up. It's a trade-off. Alright, here we are in our own lands right over here. We kind of know where we're at right now. We're currently fighting Lu Bu. Okay, that should be my capital. Yep, it is, and that would be called Shu Xiang. And I'm going to have a lot of people move over here to the northeast. 
right over here. Yeah. Let's see. Sin Liu? That might be how you say it. Again, my pronunciation, my pronunciation might be way off or it might be close to it. Shi Ahodun, you're gonna join Sao Sao. And I want a lot of you to move in together, but I don't want too many generals in one army. Sao Hong, you'll join you too. We'll have three total in each army that I need. Han volunteers, county spearmen. They're probably not that great, but we're gonna move them in anyway. I can fit in one more soldier. Zion Wei, I bet you would be very powerful to have, but we're going to move in your swordsman over here. And I'm going to move you to our capital, Shuasong. I have a merchant. I'm going to move him down here to make money. All right. 23 Wuju. All right. And over here, we have Sao Shun. And we're going to move him, or, yeah, that should be it. Sao Shun. We're going to move him over here to... Yes. Another town. We're going to have everyone get together. Oh, what is that over here? Tiger and Leopard Cavalry. Wow. That's really powerful looking. That'll be a lot of fun to use in battle. Alright, let's get everyone down here for now. We're going to put up another army in a moment. We do want to take that little unfortified pass. They only have three units over there. I have enough men to potentially wage war on a few fronts, which is really exciting. I should be able to do a lot. I have one full army over here. I want to develop another one led by Shu Chu. Yeah, we're going to have him have two other generals who will join me right now. Okay, I'm going to have you join him. Come over here. We've got an unaligned general. I wonder if I could pay for them to join me. I mean, I have a lot of men fighting for me now, but I wonder if part of the game is getting more of those really talented men to join you. That, to me, would be logical. Okay, I don't really need to protect my capital yet. I like how it's in the heart of my lands right now. I don't need to worry about it too much. Alright, what about you? You're moving into town. You two will move into Shu Chu's army. You three too. We nearly have a full army. I need one more general to join me. I want a cool one to join me. Well, they can join me next turn, probably. Yeah, that will work out. I do want Guan Du as well. So I have three armies. I have two over here in the east, and we'll go after Lu Bu in his own land of Yan Jiao. All right, I do believe we're ready to end our turn. In just a moment, I need to look at what I can build right now. Fortunately, the buildings are pretty cheap. I'm not too mad about that. In the very beginning, what I really like to build are a lot of roads. I like roads a lot. They let me travel quickly. They can make me more money. And that is very important to me in any type of war. All right, roads are all over. Wait, what now? Walkways, okay. Look at that. Not cheap again, but that will all help me make a lot of money, and it won't take long to build. Okay, I don't need roads over here, apparently, or I can't build them. Let's make sure. I could build more farmland. You know what? I'm going to do that, too. We need a lot of farmland. A gentry clan. Okay. Academy over here. More order. A lot more order. I don't need to worry too much about that. They're pretty happy right now. 10,000 people live there. A gambling den. I could upgrade their armor. I'm not sure where I'm going to have my men be recruited from quite yet. I'll need one or two locations to focus on that. It might be over here in the west. But who I can recruit might change on the town or area in general. Alright, that should be about it. I feel like we're good to go now. We're going to end our turn. There we go. The Liu clan. Alright, your name is Liu Chen. You would like to trade with me. We can do that. I don't hate you. You'll do. Yan Jiao, what do you want from me? Are you trying to bribe me? You want a ceasefire? I don't believe that will work out right now. I've got to kill you. I believe in dynastic change. You believe in factionism. Shame on you. Oh no, Liu Bu. You've angered me now. We have something for you, Nobu I don't even know how to say your name. No idea. <laughs> Alright, anyway. We are we're gonna trade now. And a pleasure. Farewell. Underlined forces, yeah, it might just be like a general group. I have no idea, but they're not rebels. Oh! I can tell you why they want to have a ceasefire. They're watching me gather up two armies right on their border. They're probably a little bit freaked out. Okay, custom mission objectives. During the course of the game, you may receive custom missions via event messages. These can involve missions, uh, missions that will stretch over considerable time and may have several objectives. Alright, I can click over here and find out what they are. Show me how. 
but we don't have one right now. That's really cool. That will definitely change up the game quite a bit. Alright, who do we have over here? Me Song Xian. Death, knave. I'm going to take you out. What about over here? Gao Shun. You. You've got a very tiny army. Yeah, they don't have a lot of men Hail to stop me. I'm going to bring in even more king. men. Orders. I'm going to bring in more crossbow men and heavy spearmen. There we go. Now we're going to move up. I want all of you to move Hail over here. We don't have a mission quite yet. We're building a lot of roads right now. I'm going to take my time in the game. I don't want to really rush through the game and not enjoy myself. So if I'm going a bit slow, then you know why. I just really want to make sure that I'm doing things right and that I'm having a lot of fun. Okay, I can't fit more over here. We'll move over here to the east right now. Okay, Lu Yang. You've only got three units over here, and I've got a huge army that can definitely go take you out. Are you all free while you're here? No, you're not. Which means I'm paying for you, which means that you better fight for me. Okay, Shi Aho Yuan, you're going to go over here and fight with two other generals. There you go. I want you to bring in your army. A little bit like that. Now, I will say from time to time, I don't know if the game will crash. I know that in Medivh 2 mods can crash from time to time. It feels pretty stable, but I want to make sure. Okay, we'll go over here later. You can make me money now. Thank you. Okay, my diplomat. Where are you at, anyway? He's around here somewhere. He's moving away. Anyway. What about you, Shu Chu? You're good to go. I can move you up. Sao Sao. We're going to wait for my other general, I believe. Let's make one watchtower to find out what yes, they have going on. Dong Jun is right over here. They've got a lot more men. Zhang Ba. Yeah, we're going to wait until two armies can move in. The Liu clan's right over to the east, and they're very tiny. They probably do not have a lot of land right now. We're going to end our current turn. Man. A bride presented. Lady Boo. Really? All right. We're going to get married. Controlling the Emperor. Although... Although the Han Dynasty no longer controls the land or its rival warlords, the Emperor and his court still hold a considerable amount of influence in the politics of the land. More than anything, one can use the Emperor to further their own goals and agenda and perhaps seek to legitimately establish their own dynasty through usurpation of the Emperor's throne. While some warlords can seek to pursue their goals on their own by establishing great military might, others would seek to control the Emperor to achieve the same ends by taking Chang An, Xiang An, where Emperor. Let's see, what is it again? It is, um, Xi'an, yeah, okay. So CH would be like Song, Song An, Emperor Xi'an and his court reside. One could come into possession of the emperor and be named as the imperial guardian. In such a powerful position, your faction will gain influence throughout China. And when you have gained considerable holdings, power and prestige in the future, will be able to make a decision on whether to support the Han as its chief official or supplant it and form your own dynasty. Okay. One of these days, I'll have correct pronunciation here, and I'll feel cool for it. Do I have a mission yet? I don't believe I do. Let's find out. Not yet. But over here is where I would need to go. Yeah, I definitely need to expand over here. That looks huge. Look at that. Wow. They've got a lot going on. Look at the custom buildings around here. I didn't really look at the map yet, but man, it's huge. I wonder if I came down here. I'd be able to make more money with a merchant, probably. I believe I would. Oh, it's over here. Ha! Huh. Adorable. Let's keep on looking around. Look at that great wall. What a cool great wall. Could I even go down here? Maybe. I don't know. We'll find out later. Okay. It's no longer winter right now. I definitely hey, want to go to Luyang. We're going king. to potentially wait it out. I'm kidding. We're not going to do that. Thanks, but no I do want to build up things over here to actually take it over. We'll take two turns to do that. Siege, we'll take Luyang. They do not have a lot of men here. It wouldn't be very difficult to take it down. That's very true. I probably don't need that much going on. I don't want to auto-resolve it. I don't trust it. Okay, do I have more men to form another minor army? I might have enough men for that, too. Which would definitely be helpful. Anyway, let's go around and look at my buildings real quick. We're building a few major roads around here. Okay. And Jiu Yong. I'm going to build over here. Yaman. Yaman. The Yaman refers to the door of the county office. The ancient name of the county governor was originally Ya, and hence the door of his office was called Yaman. That's really cool, actually. <laughs> I like that. The create office over here. We don't really need to worry about that. I'll look at my more major towns. All right. We need more money no matter what. If I train any men here, they'll have one more experience, and that's really good, too. Academy. 
gambling den. Public garden. Yeah, there's a lot to make your people happy, as you well should. Acrubalista. Arcubalista. Whoa, field artillery. Another tanner. Here's farmland. Okay. I think we're gonna go over here. Hold on, where's it at? Work on trade. I have a lot of men. I feel like I'll be okay on that front. But that is why I definitely want to work on making more money. Here's a market. Okay. We're pretty happy. We're pretty okay. Now I wonder... Dynastic change. Okay, so we can change their opinions over time. Governor's influence. We do have a lot of them in each town. <laughs> There's more farmland. Alright. What about over here? Paved roads. We want that. More farmland. More farmland again. We'll begin to develop every location in my province. I mean, I've got a lot going on. I have a lot of money, but I can definitely work to make more. We're about to have our first battle in a moment. Zingba. You're right by me. King. Okay, if I, I fight you, I might bring in those men too. What about you? I can fight you right now. You, will, my king. you have over 1,200 men. Alright. I can kill you at any moment, I'm sure. Zingba. Over here, we have... Song Xian. And over here we have Sal. Let's see. Xing. Yeah. Alright. Let's go in and fight them. Our very first battle. Took a little bit of time, but we're finally here. We're ready to fight. And what's cool is that our art of war here will apply to everything that we need. <laughs> That's really cool. I'm a big fan. Alright. I do not want fog. Not for my first battle. I don't want that. Alright. That should do. Whoa. Look at these unit models. They're really good looking. I like them a lot. <laughs> That'll do. Check that out. And there's a lot of units in the game too. I don't know how many total, but there are a lot. I know that much. Oh, these guys look very cool. Yujin Buku. Alright. I believe we can now begin the battle. Just a moment. Let's go look at my infantry. We'll put them all together. Let's see. We'll have a double tiered row. I actually want my volunteers in the front. I think I'm going to actually have my weaker units in the very front. Hold on. I'm going to move everyone back real quick as I try to sort out my formation. Okay. Two over here. We've got swordsmen. I want my spearmen in the front for sure. Okay. Well, you're a little bit more well formed. I don't want you to hold that formation. I don't really like it too much. I don't really believe it'll be very handy. Energetic Tigers, I mean, you'll be very handy. You two will be together in your own group. Yeah, you're gonna be very powerful. I'm gonna have you break them down. So a lot of you are spearmen. Heavy spearmen are here. Okay, I could probably put you in the middle. That's an idea. All right, so here's what we'll do then. I'm gonna put you over here, and you over here, heavy spearmen, will be in the middle. County spearmen. I mean, you're okay. You're going to support my unit in the middle, like that. It'll be pretty close. Alright. My volunteers, I'll have you in the front to draw out any archer fire. I know it's pretty cruel, but I've got to do something to make sure that my more valuable units are not damaged. I do have swordsmen. Quite a few, actually. Okay, heavy infantry and all of that. I want two of you over here and over here. In case we need to maneuver around. We do have crossbowmen. Quite a few, actually. Wow, that is a lot. It might actually be more advantageous if I put them in the very front. That might be a better idea, anyway. If I have that many, I might as well use them. Okay, archers. I don't want you to be able to move. So we're going to move you right back here. And you're going to fire as you want to. No, I don't want you to skirmish in the very beginning. I don't know how fast the horsemen will be. I've got a lot of light horsemen right now. We're going to move you over here. Archers all together. Okay. You three are together. We're going to move you back a little bit. You are light horsemen. That should be suitable. Okay, generals, I want you on the left flank. Heavy horsemen. We are looking very cool. And I believe we're finally ready for our battle. Let's begin. I know that we do outnumber them, but that doesn't mean that we can't try. Okay, they've got archers moving up right now. On volunteers. I don't know how much of a powerful army they have. I'm looking at their horsemen who are pretty well trained. Sangshian Buku. Okay, I have everyone beginning to fire. They're actually moving away now, surprisingly. I want to see if they'll fire 
before they can actually get away. They might not be able to. I don't know if we have an actual range for that. They didn't fire yet. I'm definitely going to use my crossman in the very beginning. I feel like that would be quite suitable. Okay, we need to move up. They're making me move up right now. Okay. I'm going to hold down spacebar to show where my men are at right now. Let's move them right over here. Not a perfect formation, but it will do. We're moving on a hill. We're going to move up slowly. I'm going to fast forward once I begin to move everyone to where they need to be. Oh, no, no, no. I don't want you guys over here. Moving over here. And then I want my swordsmen to also move up. I don't like that either. I suppose that we'll have to do. I wish you could, like, design your own formations and save them. I mean, I feel like in terms, if they had that in mind, that would be pretty easy for them to do. Alright. Even though I do outnumber them, I definitely want to take my time and to advance at my own pace where I can make sure that I won't lose a lot of men. Okay, we can't quite reach you yet. They keep moving away. I wonder how smart the AI will be. They might actually be incredibly good. I mean, I did notice they put up a watchtower. They're doing things on their own. It can't be that bad. Okay. I want my swordsman up here too. Come on. They're still moving. I want all of you to move up. I want to be able to shoot them, but they're definitely maneuvering around trying to prevent me from doing that. That's okay, though. All right, swordsmen, I'm going to have you on my left flank. I'm going to make it a little bit easier on myself with all my heavy horsemen. We'll break them like that. Okay. You can't hit them yet, can you? We're going to try our best to hit them. The crossmen might be a little bit deadlier. All right, let's just move over here. We're downhill anyway. Let's just go get them. Yeah, because they're on a hill, I really have a huge disadvantage right now because of that. All right, come over here. Horsemen, I want you over here. I want my heavy horsemen over here with my heavy swordsmen and all that. They're beginning to fight. I want my spearmen to move up quickly. Yeah, because they're on a hill, they have a bigger advantage. I don't want to charge up and get them quite yet. We should have enough to actually damage them completely if I want to, though. Let's find out in just a moment. Crossbows are pretty mighty. Yeah, we're shooting back and we're getting a few kills in. They might get more, though. They got that hill on me. I've never actually fought the AI in a game, so I wasn't sure if they would actually maneuver around. But yeah, they are. They're definitely doing that. So we're going to shoot them a lot right now. Wait, do you have horsemen shooting bows at me? That's who's getting a lot of kills right now. That's who it is. Okay. Let's go over here. We're going to begin to advance a little bit right now as we begin to shoot them. They're moving around. I don't need to worry about them too much. I do need to worry about their freaking... Horsemen over here. If I can actually divide them, that would be great. Hmm. Let me think about it. Hold on. I'm going to have my heavy horsemen move over here. What are we looking at? Yeah, if I fight them in a pitch battle, we'll win. That'll be okay. They're shooting at me now. Okay. I want my Han volunteers to move up. Go after their spearmen. Okay. We're going to come over here now and hit their missile archers on horseback. I have more over here who are coming up to help out. I definitely want to go after their own. Way back over here. They're charging at me. Wow, they're quick. The AI is a lot quicker than I thought it would be. I'm going to have to really pay attention in the future. They're doing a lot of damage. I'm actually pretty happy about that. That means that we're going to have a pretty exciting campaign if I'm not going to be able to easily beat them. And a lot of mods, I can just kind of futz about and easily beat them. But they're actually maneuvering all over, trying to catch me off guard, which is really exciting for me. And of course, my Han volunteers are not very good at all. All right, crosswomen. I'm going to have all of you move back for now. All of you move back. I want my heavy spearmen to move forward right now. We're going to have a lot of people moving up. If we remain true and Good fight. Fast, victory will be ours. Okay, the light horsemen are now gone. We've got light infantry coming after me. Did we lose a general or would that belong to them? I'm not too sure yet. We're about to find out. Who died? Shoot, shoot. Crazy Tiger died in the very beginning. Not a great beginning to our campaign. But that is okay. Yeah, they definitely charge at me. That means that our generals really do not have a lot of HP, which is a lot different than I thought it would be. Okay. Let's keep on going. Yeah, the campaign's a lot quicker than I had imagined. Shoot, shoot. The crazy tiger. Slain in a battle against Lubu's men. Exciting. Okay. 
No, I'm completely fine with it. That just means I was Our arrogant. Are winning the battle. If we yeah, we are winning like the battle this, now. We will smash the enemy. That just means that I save more money when it comes to my bureaucrats and all that. Bloodied. They have lost half you know, the guys who had their dongs all cut off to have political power. <laughs> Different meaning in these time periods, man. Different meanings. Okay, my light horsemen are very powerful. We're going to keep on going after them. Yeah, they're very quick, which is why they do so well. We're charging after a few of them. Uh-oh, hold on. My energetic tigers are pretty cool, too. They're fighting. But that's okay. You saw how many men that I have fighting for me. I'm not too fast if a few die. Hold on, we're going to shoot at them over here. Come on, I need all of you to shoot over here at their heavy horsemen. I doubt you'll make it in time. If you do, that'll be beautiful. Come on, try it out, try it out, shoot. I'm not going to do it in time. Wait, wait. Ah! Okay, we got like one. Yeah! Alright, let's go over here now and go hit them from behind. They're actually a lot more deadly than I had ever thought. I mean, like, <laughs> I thought that maybe we would sweep. Now I know why they didn't pull back. They were like, you know what? We got this. They weren't kidding about that. They actually do have this. But I will let you know in the mod, you will lose a lot of men no matter what. It's going to kind of be like what you anticipate from a Romance of the Three Kingdoms type of game. You're going to lose a lot of men. Okay, no more shooting. You're good to go. Who's not broken yet? Someone's not broken yet. Oh, these guys are not. Their swordsmen are not broken yet. Okay, let's go over here behind them if we can. We can have some spearmen move behind them too. Who are you fighting? Archers, okay. Enemy general's now dead. They should begin to break. Songxian. Here's one of them coming after me. So kill him too. He's coming after my archers right now. And he's getting a lot of kills too. Shame on him. No. Stop that. Here. Pull out your blades, go. Cut him up. No one should be shooting over here. Energetic Tiger is here charging over here to take out that general. Once he's gone, we'll be good to go. Alright. No, I'm at a point now where I enjoy if I underestimate a game and they do very well and they can pretty much beat me back. Okay, we lost over 500 men. They lost over 1,200 men, which we did very well. I mean... We could have done better, sure. It's important that we learn from where we did not do well, and then in the future, we learn from that, apply it to the future, and do better. But yeah, I'm actually a lot happier whenever I have a game that can catch me off no guard. I'm like, oh crap, they actually did really well. We don't really need money, do we? I'm pretty mad about what they did to me. Goodbye. You are now dead. You are already dead. Okay, shoo shoo. Trait increase over here, plus one authority over here. Feet mastery, plus three morale. Whoa. Deadly assault. Apparently, that helped him out a lot. I like it. Okay, buddy, we're going to move you back over here for a moment. I want you to look at all of your men. Combine what you have. We're going to give you more soldiers in a little while. Han volunteers are pretty much terrible. Yeah, I mean, I thought that they would be, but they're a lot worse than I thought. <laughs> Or a lot... I don't know. I don't know, man. I'm just saying words now. Alright. You're not going to be able to move for now. I'm going to have you resupply. But yeah, they're just really bad. I don't even have words to describe how bad they are. But they are that bad. Okay, we'll break down your gate. I'll build a few ladders for fun. We shall prevail in hail, my king. We have one battle here to fight. As you will, my Over 800 men. Okay, they've got archers, spearmen, and two generals. Alright. I'll need to think of an army format. I haven't played Medieval 2 for a long time, too. I mean, I used to just kind of play it all the time as my only game for the most part, but I took a long break from it. Okay, begin deployment. What are we looking at now? Three amazing generals, all right? I don't want you guys on the front lines or on the flank. I'll use you as I need you, but I don't want you out there on your own. That's a lot of light horsemen. Who do we have over here? Ooh, heavy horsemen. Wow. That would definitely change things up for me. Okay, cool. Eight groups of horsemen total. My archers I'm not going to rely on. I was trying to before. I thought they would just kind of let me shoot them. But I was like, nope. <laughs> they will not. Okay, Han volunteers. I'm going to use you as 
fodder, as you will, should be used. They're on a hill again. Delightful. Okay. I'm gonna have you charge up in the middle. Let's see, there should be an easier way for me to move my tire formation up. That's what I really want right now. Free look mode, all right. Toggle unit information display. Camera bookmark, very neat. Let's see, where is it at? Movement halt. Unit formation, tight, loose, skirmish. Single line. I'll have to find it later. I know there's a way to do it. There should be a way to do it. Anyway, we're gonna begin our battle right now. And move up. Yeah, they're on a big hill. Again, they love having hills, man. They do love their hills a lot. Okay, Han volunteers, you're meant to be shot up. I mean, that's your job in life, to be shot up. Let me look at it real quick. Yeah, they've got archers up here. Who are here to die. Okay, they're a little bit further up. I can let them kind of walk now. For a little bit. Okay, how close are they moving up? Not close enough. Okay, you two can move over here. Look at that, they're shooting me to pieces right now. Okay, infantry's all over here. Here's what we're gonna do. Swordsmen, I want you to go after... I mean, there's really not a lot for them to go after. I'm gonna have my spearmen go after their horsemen. That's what they need to do. That's what they can do. Can do attitude. That's all that you need here. All right. All of you are gonna move over here. I'm have my heavy horsemen move over here. We're gonna watch the battle as quickly as we can. Archers, I'm gonna have you move up a little bit to shoot. Han volunteers, you're gonna jump in. Come over here and catch your light horsemen. Other Han volunteers. Okay. We're gonna try to catch a few of them. We're gonna lose a few hundred men. Such is life. All right, let's go catch them from behind. I want you two to come back over here. Like my general, I want him to come back here. I want all my light horsemen to keep on fighting. We'll definitely beat them all. They caught one group. The unit movement is very quick. I have a feeling it's going to be one of these games where I just keep on losing a lot of men. It reminds me of when I played XCOM 2. How in the very beginning I was rushing through and I wasn't taking my time. And then eventually, man, I became pretty good at it. I plan on playing on Iron Man eventually. We are winning the battle. We like of course this, we are. We outnumber them completely. I also need a cohesive idea for their format. I mean, I'm just kind of using what they have for me in the game right now. But eventually I need to come up with my own design so that I know how to lay out my men. When you have a bunch of different types, I mean, it can be kind of difficult to kind of get things where they need to be. Oh, hello. You're not really dressed for battle, are you? You're not. <laughs> oh, whoa. That guy went flying in the air. He's down. Okay, that was a lot more effective for me. That was much more effective. Okay, archers, I don't want you firing anymore. I don't trust you to not kill my team. <laughs> Let's go over here. We've got more archers to kill. You can come over here too. Come over here right now. We'll take out a lot more of them. we got archers all over right now. Uh-oh. More light horsemen are charging in. Let's go after them, too. The enemy are badly bloodied. They yeah, they are badly men. wounded right now. They are fleeing. Lubu's in big trouble. He's lost two major battles already. I'm going to take over his entire province. I'm not going to let him stop me. I don't know when I'll get a new mission, but I'm not going to let him stop me. It won't happen. Oh, man. I'm enjoying it a lot. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Sao Sao. I just saw you. There you are. Look at him. Wait, don't get killed. Rally troops. Yeah, do that. I don't know how much they're able to be hit. I mean, it might depend on their traits or whatever, but I need to watch out. Okay, they're fighting now. They're surrounded, which means that they're fighting to the death. I don't like that. I could lose more men, but that's okay. If any of you have ideas for formations, let me know, and I'll definitely try to utilize them in battle. Again, I don't mind people helping me to become better or to try new things out. Okay, you're fighting. That's where it's going on. Okay. Yeah, you were down here. Let's move over here. We're going to find them now. The models are very nice, though. Okay, fast forward it real quick. They're moving back again. 
Are you going after my archers? I feel like you are. Let's shoot him from behind. He's running. They're running. Oh, man. Look at those arrows. I mean, they're all over them, penetrating them from behind, from the front, everywhere. All right. Quit shooting for now. That'll do. I don't want too much friendly fire going on. But yeah, if I fought on the hill, I'll probably do all right, too. We nearly lost a quarter of our men. But yeah, I have a feeling in any battle any battle that we fight, we're going to have a lot of losses no matter what. That feels like the overall flow and feel of the game. No, I want him dead, too. Take him out, and then we'll leave. Wait, did he make it? He made it. Uh-uh. No, 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 no. Shoot him. Come on. Get him. Don't let him get away. Oh, he may have made it. He may have made it. I was hoping to avoid that. We're shooting at him now. Yeah, a few generals are pretty beefy, I suppose. I mean, wow. He's probably used to taking a lot of shafts. Anyway, we lost over 500 men. They lost over 800 today. men. All right, who did very well? My heavy swordsman killed 50. Heavy horseman, 86. Not too bad. Okay. Here we are again. There is no glory in hiding. I could make money from you. I don't want your money. Gong Jun. I do want. Look at that. They all made it. Alone. Huh. Feet mastery. More morale for Cao Cao. More authority. One victory. Hail my king. Okay, we're gonna go finish them off in a moment. Han volunteers. I don't want you ever again. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to need a few recruitment areas in order to really give it to them. Okay, over here, we're doing fine. We, we can bind everyone. In this siege, sire. Near a major town. Here's a scholar. Mobile conversion force. Huh. Okay. You're a prefect here. Biography. Oh, that's really cool. You can learn all about all of them, really. Acumen, more law, a little bit of unrest, or minus one to it. Leadership, it's okay, not that grand at it. You could be better. Oh, wow. There's a lot going on here in terms of traits. That's really incredible. Strong summer, plus four conviction. Crafty reversal, hidden feet. <laughs> Man, that's really cool. I love it. Okay. We're going to end our turn now. We have a lot more roads. I'm going to work on getting better units too. I'm probably going to combine into one more powerful army and take Dong Jun. I don't know if they're able to like spawn in more men or what. I'm hoping that they cannot. If we take Guan too, we could neighbor the Yuan clan. Okay, what are we looking at right now? A lot more roads and farmland. Supply abundance. Creating farmlands plus four farming output. I probably want one general in every town, and that's really about it. That way, they can leave their own little town. Okay, you will die off over time. I'll have Lu Yang. I could bring you, but I definitely do want a more uniform army. I could combine the two I have over here, and that's very true. Hmm. Han volunteers, I do not want you. I'm going to take all of my swordsmen, put them over here. All of my horsemen. I definitely do like having them. Gao Shun, you're back over here. You brought together another army. A tiny one. But you brought one together. Kind of. Okay. Swordsmen, you look a bit like spearmen. Your blades are very long. County spearmen. I mean, I suppose you're okay. Yeah. Come over here. We have a bit more of a format now. Heavy swordsmen, I don't have a lot of you, but I definitely want you to join me. Energetic tigers, I want you to join me. Okay, crossbowmen. Heavy spearmen, you're joining me too. Then we'll take in more heavy swordsmen. We'll have a much tougher army if we do that. We do have a lot of crossbowmen, I'll bring them in. And Sao Sao will go lead them. Now he's got a little bit of a more uniform army. I could bring in another army. You join him, which I will. Look at that blade. Oh, that's cool looking. Check him out. He's loving it. He is loving it. I could have one general per army. Are you the prefect here? Heir apparent, right? 
Incorrupt? Ah, oh, good, you should be. You're not the prefect here, are you? I don't believe that you are, my friend. Ah, you are. Of Chiao. We're gonna leave you here then. Hail, hail Everyone else will move king. out. There is no claw. I don't know where I'm gonna put them king. yet. I do want my air to become better. Okay, you're the magistrate here. I'm gonna leave you there too. We're gonna move my little company over. You're the magistrate too. Li Dian, you're gonna join me. What about you? My prefect, what about you? Oh, look at him. Double iron halberds. Man. Check that out. His bodyguard is well trained as a result of having all of that. He's a biography too. A massive man, apparently. He's a merchant. Okay, that'll work. Yeah, I definitely need to make sure that I can recruit better soldiers. I'm going to work on that right now in my capital. Leather Tanner. Ballista range. That might be handy later too. Trade Center. No, thank you. Not yet. I want better men. Decree office. This one looking. In time, I'll know what each building does, and I won't need to worry about that. Maybe it depends on what type of location it is. Like over here, yeah, I can recruit better men over here from what I can tell. Or that might be it for my tier for the moment. Might be. Okay, Leather Tanner. What can you recruit? Nothing that great. A Yaman. Okay, tradable goods. That will go up. More Han volunteers are very cheap. Chiao, you're over here. You can recruit a lot. And I mean a lot. I wonder how we can get more special units. I don't know yet. Let's look at it real quick. All around here. Mmm. We can upgrade their armor. That idea appeals to me. Let's make sure that we're building in every town. We're not building over here in Wuyin. Small market. Yaman. Okay. Leather Tanner. We'll do that anyway. More tradable goods. What about over here? What do we have going on? Another Yaman or a Nuwa shrine. Shenong shrine. Okay, that can all change it up. Legalism. Legalist shrine. <laughs> That's cool. School of Law. Leather Tanner. We'll try that out. Infantry encampment. Okay, we'll do that then. Alright, Chiao again. Cliff walkways will be very handy. A major town. You're neutral to me. Where's my diplomat at? I'm gonna find him. Hold on. He's around here. Yes, my lord. Oh, I didn't even move you out. I thought I did. Apparently, I didn't. Okay, well, I'm gonna move you over here. We're gonna go talk to the Liu clan. Sire. I don't want to find them yet. If I get a mission for it, then I will. But if I don't hail, have to, then I won't do it. King. Okay, I need more men. I'm gonna take more kind of spare men. Do you have enough horsemen? I've got a few groups, yeah. I mean, we are wearing them down. They have one town over here. I want you to go take that one town. Oh, here's more spearmen. Okay, you can take one too. You have room for two more. You could hire mercenaries as well. Oh, they're pretty cool looking. No upkeep, really? Yeah, we'll take them. Peasant volunteers? No, I do not want them. <laughs> I do not want them. You could take the on way. Yeah, take him. Okay, you two can go fight for me over there. We're gonna end our turn again. Well, hold on. What do we have over here that I don't want to lose that would be important to me? Okay, you three. Tough enough. I mean, I did say I didn't want to auto-resolve, but it's really a minor battle. I don't need to worry about it. I could bring you to come help me out too. That's very true. Just walk in. Yeah, we're going to do that. Now it all belongs to me. We'll repair things up here. I can retrain a few people. Okay, you're a magistrate. You're not in your town right now. I'm going to have you probably move back my retainer. You're pretty young right now. Practice field, another good location to potentially recruit more men from. Oh, I need to actually convert you to my dynastic change. We do need that. Which building would really convert them? Well, over here. Any of these would. Okay. I'm gonna become a legalist. I want roads. I want farmlands over here. We have a new town. I sire. like it. All right, you'll come to the east yes, right sire. now. You're very talented, you very elite. Here, sire. Okay. I want you Hail back in your own king. town. You're gonna move Hail out. You too, Hail Liu Yi. 
All right, you're gonna recruit more men as well. All of that. We've got the money for it at the moment. Trade increase all over. Oh, look at that. More money gained. We'd activate it. A minor injury for Sauron. Okay, the military belongs to the Soon clan in terms of might. Yuan clan has everything else. Alright, our production's really good. Our population is very high. We're fifth on military, which is not really too bad. We can definitely do better. We will do better. Alright, we'll end our turn. There we go. Oh, they have more men coming down. Yeah, I'll have to beat them then. Are they moving all of them to Dongjun? Or are they recruiting them outright? Hold on. Are you alone? I am here only to You're in Dongjun. You're over butter. here. Eventually, I they'll run out of men. To We're going to have a long war scum. here. Yeah, I've got to get more men over here to the east. Which means that I need my big army over here to come help me out. I don't want to move over to the west right now if I'm busy. I mean, I do want to go to Chang'an. We're not too far from it. We're closer to it than Lu Bu. But Lu Bu is going to be a dramatic and evil Hail fight. King. I believe he will be. Assembling a okay. Mighty host of your troops. I need one lord. My king. Let's see. You're going to move back over here, I think. All yeah, I'm going to put side. you down there. You do not... Own, oh, wait. You do own Guan Du, Yuan. Oh, lovely. Hail now they're there. Waiting for me. We shall continue tomorrow, Great. Okay, we're going to have three armies marching on Lu Bu. I probably should have done that in the very beginning. No wonder they gave me a lot of men. They were like, hey, buddy, you're going to need it. I do want that little town. Which means that we will go after it. Peasant volunteers. All right, I'll keep on looking. Moving all of you over here to that town in the middle. I've got to make sure I show a little bit of strength on my little bordering towns. I mean, they could potentially pop up and try to attack me at any point. Which would be really bad. Which means that I need a few men over here to help me defend. We'll keep it very cheap. Alright, that should be good. Looking at towns real quick. Yeah, that would do it. Okay. When we're back, we're going to go fight a battle over here and defeat... Gao Shun. Apparently, he's a great faction hero. If we beat him, we'll definitely weaken the faction that belongs to Lu Bu. Anyway, thank you for watching. Remember to like, comment, and sub, and we'll try to hit five likes or something. <laughs> anyway, until then.